up there. Oh, it's been bad for decades. But anyway, they're trying to force the vaccine. Oh, God, did I say that word? I didn't mean to say that word. They were forced to uh, force these Chicago police officers out there to get a shot because of a bug going around. And some of these officers would say, we ain't doing it. And uh, anyway, a lot of them have talked about uh, they just go might go ahead and uh, retire early. So they won't have to get uh, something inserted in their body that they don't want. And they said, okay, city council and uh, Bug Eyes is going, okay, have it your way. If you retire early and refuse to get inserted, well, then we're going to deny your, all your uh, retirement benefits, your retirement plan. You won't get any retirement. You'll just be out of work. And then uh, a retired Chicago police officer, they get a uh, lifetime uh, permit to carry a handgun, you know, for personal defense. And Chicago, that's as bad as any battlefield out there. You know, that is by any military in the uh, on the planet who has to go out there engage in warfare, Chicago's as bad as any, uh, any battlefield. So they would not get the retirement benefits. They would not get no retirement pension. They would lose their license for a personal protection device. All because they refused, they refused to get inserted. There's a bug eyes lightfoot and the leftist Chicago Council. And uh, because of what happened on January 6th up in Washington, now it's like any time anybody objects to these leftist agendas out there, they immediately want to scream conspiracy theory and insert erection. Yeah, you heard me right. I meant to say that. That's about, that's about what it is. Because anybody who refuses to go along with their leftist agenda is coming down to insert erection. I mean, oh, you won't go along with us leftist a-holes out here? Well, now we're really going to stick it to you. So, and then uh, Dolly said that uh, capitalism being what it was, somebody copy copyrighted the phrase, let's go Brandon. <laughs> That's funny right there. But, uh, yeah. So now the latest thing with leftists, regardless of what level they're on, anybody who objects to any leftist agenda of any sort, they're going to start screaming, insert direction. So, remember, Joe McCarthy warned us about this decades ago, and virtually every Everything that he said was going to happen has happened. I mean, hell, look what they did to the Boy Scouts. All those old commercials from the 50s that warned us of all these behaviors, oh, now it's just like the norm. They're shoving it in people's ear and out their six. Or maybe in their six and out their ear. All these leftist agendas. Yeah, we're going to see. Uh, we're going to see another confrontation break out. Some call it a civil war, uncivil war. It's not going to be a war between the, the races, or I doubt it will even be the haves and the have-nots. Or maybe I should say the ones who are willing to work for a living and earn what they have and those who want to freeload. But all these leftist SOBs out here who have pushed every leftist agenda you can ever imagine. Well, they're going to fight the communists on American soil again. Other than
than what happened in Charlottesville and the Proud Boys out there going to war with Antifa on the left coast on a daily basis, it seems like, or at least on the weekends. The last time that uh, Americans went to war against the leftists, uh, what's the day, the 22nd? Well, in about, uh, or was it the 23rd now? In 10 days, it will be the 42nd anniversary of the Greensboro shootout between the Communist Workers' Party and the Klan. And I don't care who would have fought the Communist. I would have supported them and defended them. You want to call somebody out, you want to challenge them to a fight, attack them when they show up, and then whine when you get your ass handed to you. Quit whining about it. The old Communist Workers Party, the members that are all senior citizens now, they are still whining almost 42 years later. How could this have possibly happened? You challenged them to a fight and dared them to show up. That's how it happened. Every other excuse you come up with is a load of BS. We're coming up on the 42nd anniversary of the Greensboro shootout. A lot of folks who were, who were involved have passed on. But anyway, all that aside, you know, Antifa and all these radicals, uh, Greg Johnson, uh, Revolutionary Communist Party, uh, responsible for the 1989 a Supreme Court flag burning case it goes back to 1984 in the Republican Convention in Dallas, Texas. He was a member of the Revolutionary Communist Youth Brigade, burned a flag, he was convicted. He said, Oh, he's just trying to exercise his rights. He's a left, he don't even believe in any of rights. Those who unfortunately got to work with him while he was uh, awaiting the appeal of his case said, Well, he is the most obnoxious individual they ever been around. And that's a lot of leftists. They are absolutely obnoxious. So damn obnoxious. But they won't go to live in a communist country. And I've heard the argument people say, oh, there's no such thing as a communist country. People are idiots. That's what happens when you listen to your leftist professors and teachers in school systems. The very teachers and professors that Joe McCarthy warned us about decades ago polluting your head one topic at a time. When you talk to people who have lived in communist countries like Cuba, Hungary, which I've said on here before, I knew people that uh, grew up in those countries back and it was communist and said it was hell on earth. Remember a few years ago, Venezuela, socialist country, the food riots, and that's what these idiots one for this country. The man I knew that grew up in Hungary said he remembers back when it was still communist having to go down every day and get your daily rations. No one could have any more or less than anybody else. Everybody was equally miserable. Yeah, socialism and communism. Socialism is just communism light. And uh, anyway, I'm going to jump off of here, but I thought that was interesting. Like I say, I put my little twist on the, uh, the, on the word. But anyway, Bug Eyes Lightfoot and all the others, anytime you object to one of their uh, leftist agendas, they call it conspiracy, and then they turn it around and say, insert erection. And uh, apparently here in Indiana, they told Chicago police, because they were going to fire all these uh, Chicago police officers that refused to get inserted with some kind of chemical that they didn't trust. They said, hey, Indiana's hiring, and we're not pushing that nonsense, so come over here, we'll hire you. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Anyway, take care, friends. This is Eric the Mind